Well, hey guys, today we're in the studio again with Eric and we're talking about addiction. Last time we said you have to surrender or you'll die in your addiction. But there's one more thing mm -hmm. that you wanted to add to that besides just surrendering. What is it? It's, I have to help people. So I really believe for me and for other people, it's help or die. Help others or die. Because for me, I went from two extremes. I was an addict and then now I'm a pastor. And, and what got me there in the first place obviously was God's power, but also he wanted to use me for a purpose. I've been through so many things now. I didn't go through all those things to not share them with anybody, mm -hmm. to help another person. Yeah. You know, I didn't want that to all be in vain. And so God says that he uses all things together for the good of those who love him, who, yeah. the, who are called according to his purpose. And so for me, God gave me purpose. And if I don't live in that purpose, then I'll probably fall back. Yeah, I think that's so good. I think there's kind of, there's a core issue with addiction and it's the core issue with sin. It's just inward. So you were inward as an addict and then you get help and you're not an addict anymore. But if you're still inward, mm -hmm. then there's, there's still a core problem, selfishness, yeah. right? So I love that. I love help people or, or die. If you don't learn to focus outward, once you get free, now go help the next person get free, then you'll probably fall back into that or something else. You'll fall into some other <laughs> sin, right? Maybe that's not that same addiction, but something else, right? Yeah. Because that core problem is still there. But I'm sure people are wondering right now, they're saying, well, wait, what? I have to be a pastor then? Is, is mm -hmm. that what you're telling people, Eric? They have to be a pastor? No, not at all. I mean, because God has purposes for every person. Not everybody's called to be a pastor. But God has called everyone to help another person, help yeah. another person pursue God. We call it mentoring. You yeah. know, mentoring was instrumental in my life. I couldn't see uh, getting to where I'm at without God placing someone in my life. Yeah. And now... No, I've grown so much by helping other people, but mm -hmm. also uh, people need another person to, to share their experiences with them. And so that's what I get to do. And it's a, it's a joy. It's a blessing. Mm -hmm. I find purpose in that. And I do it so much that I guess they wanted to make me a pastor. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, and here's the other thing, Eric. It's interesting. Just like anything, you can't come out of addiction by listening to a sermon or watching a video right? You do it with someone walking with you and helping you, mentoring you, shepherding you, walking with you. And so it's just so good is not just for yourself, but for someone else. If everyone who overcomes an addiction through Christ turns around and helps one other person, man, there wouldn't be a whole lot of addicts left, I think, probably in the world, at least not in our churches, right? Definitely not. Yeah. No. So I encourage you, if you're watching this video, the tools at PursueGod.org, Eric uh, has a lot to do with those tools, but PursueGod.org slash addiction. So many great tools that you can use, not just to help yourself, but to help someone else with their addiction. So check that out. And uh, we encourage you to keep coming back and help more people pursue God. And you will, you will have sustained victory over your addiction.